This video is starting in my hallway because the item in question is just too big to fit on the bench as is. It's a Chinese LED high bay light. So um, I'm going to take the reflector off this and the video will continue once it's on the bench. So now the reflector's off, it reveals this rather stylish light module um, and this whole assembly. And I kind of have a feeling that the Chinese have missed a trick by not designing the reflector in such a way that it can sit upside down over the light like this, so that the whole thing could be shipped with a, in a box about half the thickness. But it came fully pre-assembled, which seems quite odd. Oh well. Uh, so let's get the back off this. Now, this is a 30 watt uh, light and it's got the usual big square cob in there with uh, the three rows of 10 LEDs. And for some strange reason, all the ones being sold in the UK are rated 30 watt. You can get higher versions, they do them in 20 watt, 30, 50, 70 and 100 watt versions, but for some reason the ones on eBay in the UK are just 30. All probably coming from the same warehouse. I did order one of these a while back, a considerable while back from AliExpress, but I've never really had much joy with AliExpress, um, and it didn't arrive, and it went to a dispute, so um, that was going to be a 50 watt one. But here we go, here's the 30 watt one, it's pretty similar. Generally speaking, the only difference between the, um, say, the 30 watt and the 50 watt and the 100 watt and so on is the heat sink section, this aluminium extrusion here, uh, is just a lot longer. It just seems to go up in inch multiples according to the wattage. So, uh, take another screw out here. On the top of this, it's got the flex coming out. Um, and the hanging loop, and it comes with um, a hanging hook and chain for hanging from the ceiling. It is a 30 watt fixture with a 30 watt driver inside, I'm guessing, because um, when I actually put it in the power meter it came up as 25 watts, which, you know, uh, well you guys know me, I prefer to underrun things slightly. So off comes the last bit of hardware. And the lid lifts to reveal. Actually, I'll take the cables out of it first. There we are. The lid lifts to reveal. Lots of space. Lots of space and a loose ballast. The earth wire is just flopping around on a screw that could have been tightened, but they didn't bother tightening it. The not tightened screw is very... Uh, obviously it's a common thing because the reflector in the front also had its screws in tightened not quite up to the end. Well, that's not even tight yet. But anyway, I shall tighten it. I'll tighten it right now. Uh, has this ballast been screwed down at all? There, it's tight now. Is there any mounting place for this ballast? <coughs> the ballast is marked LED driver uh, 8123 Universal voltage output 24 to 40 volts at 900 milliamps. So that is typically a 30 watt driver. Typically it's 300 milliamps per 10 watt uh, string of LEDs. Also, the light is uh, all the heat coming up through this nice aluminium extrusion here. Not good flow because it's going to catch the hot air under the slip, and then it's basically heating up a little plate with the ballast sitting on top of it. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem a great design. I'd almost have preferred the ballast to be mounted externally um, or just separated by some spacers. Um, but maybe that's why it's not screwed to anything and it's just sitting loose. I don't see any hardware that this would have actually fitted under. Nope. Would it have fitted under those screws? Nope, it wouldn't have fitted there either. Ah, very odd. Okay. 
let her take this bit off. All the fixings seem to be just um, screws, self-tappers, tapped into the aluminium extrusion, which makes sense. Oh, and the wires that come down, uh, they just seem to come down inside the fins. So there's the red one, and where's the black one? There it is there. See if I can not snap screws. Actually, that one just made a sort of unpleasant sensation. I'm guessing this probably is just going to be a standard 30 watt generic cob. They do say in the guide that, you know, it's not changeable. Well, let's find out if that's actually the case, because if it's standard, then it is changeable. Oh yes, these are, these are just falling everywhere. So here's the heatsink assembly. That screw is coming out. It really is just an ordinary LED screwed onto the heatsink and then with this uh, lens and reflector. I think this is a fairly standard lens and reflector. I've seen these on sale on eBay as well. So, can the LED be changed? Well, it does look like it can be changed. I don't think there's anything particularly special about the... I don't think it's physically glued onto that, is it? It's probably just going to be heat sink compound. Let's lift it and find out. Oh, strip, strip thread. Strip screw. This one's coming out. These screws are not particularly impressive. Uh, they're not really... They don't look as though they're totally into something designed to thread properly. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out when I get them out. Here's the first one that's coming out properly. This is the, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to change this for a higher wattage warm white LED. Do I have higher wattage warm white LEDs? No, I've got lower wattage warm white LEDs. Oh well. So let's see, how, how's this? Is this going to just lift up? Is it physically glued down or is it just... That screw is just not coming out. But I'll be able to tell from this side if I just lever this, if it's uh, actually glued down or if it's... Oh, actually it might be. It might be glued down. Random hardware falling everywhere. The little screws that hold the LED in aren't, aren't that great. Well, I'll tell you what, I can actually just test by poking the compound. That is the sort of silicon rubber. So um, it has been glued on, probably because these screws are a wee bit dodgy. But you know, you could still get that off by um, doing this sort of silicon rubber slicing technique of getting a bit of thin wire and just putting it behind me and sawing your way through it, or just prizing it off to put another LED on. But um, yeah. So really not a lot to it, is there? Um, it's the uh, standard uh, LED module, the Cobb LED as they call it. The standard driver, this <coughs> lens that sits over the top, um, and then the reflector and the, the sort of ballast housing. So it's neat enough, but um, it's pretty much what you'd expect in a sense, isn't it? It's just kind of generically a cheaply made sort of... Um, high bay light, but uh, they do seem quite popular. They're everywhere on the internet. The other version of this has just big round circuit boards which cover the whole sort of surface um, with just peppered with standard surface mount LEDs. Um, I kind of prefer the idea of the cob one because you can just swap these uh, readily available chips. So I wonder, how the, I wonder how the heat dissipation will be in this. I guess the only way to find that out is to actually power it up and leave it sitting for a while. So I might just do that. Yeah, interesting enough though, and really quite stylish.